Good evening to those who are listening. It's January 26th, 2023, 6.11 p.m. And I've uh, been looking at this asteroid 2023 BU and it's close approach to Earth. This one, it says two less than three minutes to go. That was if it was going to be at 6.15, 7.15 Eastern. But he even came on and said, oh, they just changed it. That it was supposed to be 627. And if you're just joining us, welcome there here goes. to the launch pad as we continue to track asteroid 2023 BU. We made a quick adjustment to our countdown there. Apologies for that. We did have that adjusted to when it was beginning its close approach. This is now set up for the peak closest approach, 727 p.m. Eastern or 1227 a.m. in Friday UTC. So stay with us. These are still live views of the tracking of Asteroid 2023 BU as it makes its close approach to Earth. If you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us thought I would the just, launch pad uh, and we'll work on answering those. I thought I'd just let him talk for a second there. So that's probably more closer to when the, <clears throat> the actual time when it passes by. Now this one has 26 minutes and 26 minutes and 15 seconds, and then if you look at another one, this one says nothing. It doesn't say when it's going to, it just shows it coming. So I don't know who you trust, who who are the best sources for this. This one, 16 minutes. So they're all off a little. This one says uh, 728 instead of 727. A minute difference, I guess. Looks like about two minutes difference from the other one, though. 727 Eastern. I don't know. I don't know. It's supposed to be 2,200 miles Um from Earth, and our satellites are at 22,000, so it's well within the satellite range. Here's another one, but again, no countdown on this one. So this one, the first one I was on, which is the, the launch pad, is that the same one? The virtual telescope was supposed to be the one, but they stopped, they already stopped their live stream. So this one might be the most accurate one, well, of course. I turned the volume off. So back over here, we got 13 minutes. I don't know if anything's gonna happen. It's supposed to pass by the bottom of the earth, so um, uh, I guess the, the, the best area to view this would be the southern tip of South America. I don't know if anybody else is going to be able to see it with your naked eye. You probably would have to have a telescope if anywhere else in the world. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. God bless.